Hey guys, um, welcome to the January transition log. Sorry that these keep coming out at the end of the month, but I, I'm in a bit of a busy part of my life. Um, and apologies for the video quality on this one. I'm once again not at home and therefore don't have my usual setup, so this one's gonna be this one's gonna be pretty rough, even by my usual standards. Um because uh, I don't have my, my webcam or my mic or anything. I'm just, I'm on my mom's laptop right now because that's where I'm at uh, due to some uh, circumstances I don't really want to get into. It's not important, but uh, let's just begin. So, <clears throat> as far as uh, transitioning stuff goes, I have had now my... Uh, first three month checkup with my doctor uh, and we've discussed uh, d uh, discussed my like hormone levels um, so testosterone reduction has been really good uh, and uh, my estrogen levels are like just they were like just just at like the bottom like just at the threshold of like crossing over into where uh they would normally want to be for transitioning so my uh my stradial dose has been increased for these next three months uh it went from i think like two of the i think one milligram pills a day to now i'm up to three so that's things on the medical side um as far as uh like effects that i'm feeling uh, I have noticed a bit with my, uh, with, uh, body hair that it's started to grow back a bit more slower, and when it does, it's a bit more fine than it used to be, like, uh, like hair on my arms. I mean, my arm's still very hairy, because I don't shave very often, because I, it's, like, a lot of effort, <laughs> and no other reason. I'm just lazy. Um, but... <clears throat> yeah, I've noticed that coming back uh, a lot slower than it would. Like, it's been almost over a month since I've shaved my arms, and they're still, like, nowhere near where they would have been uh, before I, like, started shaving them, or if I had shaved them and, like, left them for a week uh, before taking HRT. Um, and I guess the only other thing I should talk about is then, uh... The emotional side of things. Um, you know, I I'm just going to be straight with you guys. Uh, <laughs> past month has been... Uh, it's been rough. It's been rough. There's been some, some rough struggles. Uh, emotional. Uh, I, I don't really want to get into anything of that or what caused it. But, like... I have had some some moments of like very intense uh stress and like very intense depression uh even somewhat recently and it's a little hard for me to attribute that directly to hrt because those are both things that i've struggled for for uh, years now and it's something that I've, you know, in the past definitely dealt with, even before I was uh, transitioning or even considering transition. And it's something I've taken medication for in the past. I am not currently taking medication for it. That is probably going to change, just considering how bad things have gotten recently with that. And if I'm honest, that kind of uh, stuff is... I don't know if, like, I mean, I, I, I do know. I It's something that I think needs to be discussed in these videos, like my overall emotional health and mood, because, you know, even if in the moment right now I can say, like, oh, well, this is something I've dealt with all the time, like, these emotions, these things stirring up, they're not, like, a direct result of HRT. <clears throat> I'm in, I'm in my parents' basement right now. It's cold. That's why I got this. Um, even if, like, 
you know, the emotions don't feel like they're coming as a direct result of HRT. Um, it's still something worth documenting because, uh, for all I know, they actually are coming from that, and I'm just bad at judging what is contributing to my emotions, which is fairly consistent with what's happened in my life before. And also just, like... As much as I would like the tone of these videos to be, like, it's just comforting and relaxing and I'm just giving you the information and showing you all the great things going through with, uh, with my life, uh, I don't think that that's necessarily real. And, like, you know, if someone, if you watching are watching this because you're thinking about transition or you're just starting a transition, I don't want, like, my image that I put forward to just be, like, oh, I come in every month and, yeah, things are just going great all the time because, you know, that's probably not going to be your experience. Not because, you know, transition is just an inherently negative thing, but that, you know, bad things are going to happen to you. It's a long process and you're going to have moments of stress, whether it directly resulted from, uh, from transition or not. So... I think it's worthwhile to just keep you all posted on stuff like that. I, I, I don't know where any of this is going. Like I said, I have no script. I'm doing this all in one take. I don't have editing software. I hope this microphone is doing okay, because I didn't really have time to test it. Um, I'm sorry that uh, these videos come out at such, like really late and I, I never seem to have them prepared but and I'll promise you this next month is going to be big because next month is going to be the one year anniversary of my discovery and coming out as a trans woman and I think I want that to be special so I'm going to make it special a anyway, uh, I don't really know what else to cover. Uh, I hope <laughs> I hope things get better soon because where they're at right now is certainly a lot of stress. But it's it it's stress that I'm I'm able to manage at least in the moment, which is good. So yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I I guess that's all I have. Sorry. I'll see you guys next time.